Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless if you are visiting the iowa state house over the next couple of weeks you will see this in the rotunda it's a holiday display put up by the satanic temple godlessness is now taking over all aspects of society as christ followers what are we to do as we see the world growing darker we are to walk in love light and wisdom as we read in ephesians 5 1 through 21. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you, as is fitting for saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. The supporters of this group say if there can be a Christmas tree here in the Capitol, then they can display this put on by the Iowa Satanic Temple. We're going to really relish the opportunity to be represented in a public forum. We don't have a church on every street corner. Lucian Greaves, co-founder of the Satanic Temple, says this satanic display is a symbol for their right of religious freedom. He says if you don't like it, don't look at it. My feeling is, is that if people don't like our displays in public forums, they don't have to engage with them. They don't have to view them. It's a very dark, evil force. Um, and I truly hope people know how to battle that. Shelly Flockhart from Dallas Center says she was shocked to see it at the Capitol. Okay, come on in. Flockhart organized a prayer group on Wednesday around the Christmas tree in the center of the rotunda to oppose the satanic display near the stairwell. She calls it dark and evil and says Christians should spiritually fight against it. One, I hope people realize spiritual warfare is real, that there are evil, satanic um, forces that are trying to infiltrate our state. Brothers and sisters, put on the whole armor of God. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, 
and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. I'm told the altar here will be on display at the State House for 14 days. By the way, the Satanic Temple says it is a federally recognized non-theistic group that uses Satanic symbols as a way to convey its message. The Temple's website says its work includes publicly confronting hate groups and lobbying for abortion rights. It says it does not believe in the existence of Satan or the supernatural. Psalm 14.1 The fool has said in his heart, there is no God, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who does good. Uganda has criticized the United States' recent expansion of visa restrictions on its officials, interpreting it as an attempt by Washington to enforce an LGBTQ agenda in Africa. The new sanctions unveiled earlier this week target Ugandan individuals who were not formally identified. According to the U.S., they are responsible for undermining democracy and suppressing marginalized groups, including the LGBTQ community. Uganda's Minister for Foreign Affairs on Wednesday asked why the U.S. did not impose the same sanctions on Middle Eastern countries and insisted his country would not backpedal on the adoption of its bill. The U.S. implemented an initial round of visa restrictions on Ugandan officials in June in response to Uganda's Anti-Homosexuality Act. The World Bank also suspended new lending to the East African nation. Romans 129 through 32. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness, they are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Verse 32 brings Romans chapter 1 to an end with a very bleak view of human nature. The point of the last half of the verse is to show that many people not only do things that they know deserve death, but also entice others to do them and approve when they do. In other words, the end point of depravity is not just the love affair with sin, but the desire to bring others with you to destruction. It's not just that people choose death for themselves in the passion of sin, but that they become suicidal at the spiritual level and assist others in eternal self-destruction by approving their sin. We are watching this play out right before our very eyes. Jesus said, as a sign of his coming and the end of the age, there would be an increase in deception, false Christ who will deceive many, wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, Christian persecution, apostasy, false prophets, and lawlessness causing the love of many to grow cold. Jesus said all of these signs would come like birth pains. Jesus was likening last day's events to a woman in labor. As the labor progresses, the pains increase in both frequency and intensity until the baby finally comes. As we get closer to Jesus' return, all the signs he gave us as a sign of his coming and the end of the age will become more frequent and more intense. All of these signs are manifesting around the world in our time. As a sign of his coming and the end of the age, Jesus declares, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Watch out. China's cyber army is on the attack, infiltrating two dozen critical U.S. entities at least over the past year. Just some of the victims, you got a water utility company over in Hawaii, along with a major West Coast port and oil and gas pipeline. What are they up to? Here to react and to analyze Cocroft Center for Strategy and Security, Vice President Matthew Kranick. What are they up to? Unfortunately, China's preparing for war with the United States. Uh, the, the strategy here is that they want to be able to invade Taiwan. They're worried that the United States will project military power from bases in Hawaii and the continental United States to Asia to defend Taiwan. And so what China's trying to do is to do these cyber intrusions, lay in wait, 
and, and at the right moment, attack ports, attack water supply, attack uh, energy supplies to prevent the United States from projecting military power forward. So, so in short, they're preparing for they're preparing for war. Hamas is surrounded in the south and now surrendering in the north. Israeli Defense Forces report that the terrorist group is on the verge of collapse in Gaza. And today, the United Nations is expected to hold another vote calling for a ceasefire. Meanwhile, the IDF reports that it has found evidence that a U.N. agency is in close quarters with Hamas. Chris Mitchell reports. Monday night, Israel's defense minister declared Hamas is near a breaking point in northern Gaza marking a huge turnaround from October 7th. Among those who surrendered are also terrorists who participated in events of October 7th, the same ones who went on murder sprees that killed children, who raped women, and are now in a situation where they only have one option, to die or surrender. As the humanitarian crisis grows, Israel plans to increase aid to the people of Gaza. But this video shows some aid is being commandeered by armed groups. On Israel's northern border, the IDF is responding to an increase in Hezbollah fire into the country. It's a front the White House is concerned could escalate into a regional war. We absolutely don't want to see this conflict spill over into Lebanon. We don't want to see a second front. We don't want to see it escalate and widen. Um, and so it is also in the context of that. Uh, that we're, uh, we're concerned about these reports. In another risk of escalation, Iranian-backed Houthi militia in Yemen struck a Norwegian oil tanker it says was headed for Israel. No injuries are reported. As the U.N. General Assembly prepares for a vote on a resolution calling for a ceasefire, Iran condemned the U.S. veto of a similar measure in the Security Council last week. The U.S. government once again demonstrated its full-fledged solidarity with the Zionist regime and its full complicity in these regrettable crimes against the oppressed people of Palestine. As the IDF continues to advance in northern and southern Gaza, a stark warning from Hamas about the hostages. A spokesman warned on Sunday that no hostage will leave the Gaza Strip alive without an exchange of more Palestinian prisoners in Israel as well as other demands. 138 hostages remain in captivity, including 20 women and two children. IDF troops continue to uncover evidence of Hamas hiding its war machine in civilian areas. This mosque included a Hamas training site, including a room used for combat simulation, weapons and explosives. The IDF also said it found bags from the UN Relief and Works Agency, mixed in with the Hamas weapons. The Bible tells us there are four possible prophecies on the verge of finding fulfillment. Isaiah 17:1, in which Damascus, Syria will be destroyed in a single night. Jeremiah 49, the prophecy of Alam, which could infer an Israeli attack upon Iran's nuclear program. Psalm 83, in which the Muslim nations that border Israel will mount an attack on Israel in order to cut them off from being a nation. Ezekiel 38 and 39, known as the War of Gog and Magog. In this prophecy, a coalition of nations led by Russia, Iran, and Turkey will attack Israel in the last days in order to take Israel's wealth. Luke 21, 26 through 28. Men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world, as we know it, is near. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but God demonstrates His own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with Him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved.
God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in Him and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.